So hello, hello, hello. This is Erica. And wow, I have had an amazing adventure. Oh my goodness. This last week has been really fascinating. I'm still in a learning curve on it because I, well, you know what? (laughs) I'm not going to do the whole story right now. I think what we'll do is a meditation to accept and love ourselves and forgive ourselves and really step into knowing that we are soul guided and that it is all right. Even when your choices anger others, even when your choices hmm, seem to others like you're being, oh, um, wrong, right? Just look at the energy of having the courage to stand up for your own self-interest. And what I'm getting when I'm even saying this is the generations of holding oneself back that gets uh, kind of hmm, tangled up and skewn. Like one time I was helping one of my friends who was trying to get in a relationship and she's like, you know, what's it going to take? And I don't know why she asked me, but we're standing on the beach, (laughs) I guess, because I'm a seer. And what I saw around her was like a golf ball of all these strings. And it was, you know how, if you, if you've ever seen the inside of a golf ball, just Google it. It's so fascinating. There's all these strings and they, they bind you all around you. And that's what it looked like to me. And so she was like, Oh, because she kept thinking, Oh, I did it. You know, I've done it. I've cleared it. I can be in a relationship. And then I looked at her energetically, not, you know, not because she actually had found someone she thought was kind of cool. And he was sort of available. (laughs) I don't remember the details. And I said, she goes, so what do you think? And I, she goes like, you know, I guess she just wanted some like validation of reading the energy of her connectivity to this man. And what I saw was just like all these golf ball strings around her that were, really preventing her from being in any kind of good relationship, which she had been experiencing some of it, like she could have gone into story. Like my mom was an alcoholic or she had some really interesting stories and things that she had to clear. And I watched her. She was so fascinating because she didn't do any of that. She just said, Oh, cool. And then sure enough, a couple months later, she's with the man and they're still together to this day. And that was five or six, seven years ago. And, and really what happened was, she just looked at the energy of the situation and said, well, I'm willing to change it. Yeah. So I'm just going to declare <laughs> in front of you, the listener, that I'm willing to change it. Whatever it is that um, caused me to choose less than or move me to not be in alignment with my best self or Whatever that is, whatever strings those are, whatever background and history and bull crap and stuff that kept me from just really owning my soul guidance. What if I just said, you know what? Hey, <laughs> I'm choosing different now. Yeah. And it's a big change and, and there's going to be fallout. So for me right now, there's someone, uh, a couple people who are upset that um, I'm not choosing something they really wanted me to choose. And what happened for me was I looked at this scenario and it wasn't what it pretended to be. It wasn't what it purported to be. It was different than it had been shown to be. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the message I got was like, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. You know, and that's my Angelou. And I love that saying. And, and I really, I feel like, I feel like for me, just knowing me, I can't speak for anyone else. I'm sure no one else has experienced this of wanting something to be different than it is so that it fits the mold of what it is that we thought we wanted. <laughs> How's that for a mind fuck? 
<laughs> what if you want something to be a certain way so that it fits what you wanted it to be? Like, I thought I was going to have to do this, 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 and this, so my daughter could go to college. And I thought I'd have to do this, 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 and this, so my other daughter would get to travel. And in fact, I didn't have to do any of those things that I thought I had to do. And that was all just like, I don't know where that came from. Those were all just lies. Like, I didn't have to do certain things. I did have to do other things, right? <laughs> so I feel like I could go on forever, but let's do a little meditation just to help you um, strengthen those bones, those self-care bones, those places where you honor that beauty inside of you and that guidance inside of you. And um, I, I don't know if you can tell because it's an audio recording, but I'm really fragile today. I'm very vulnerable today. I've been through a lot and there's people really angry with me today. And so <laughs> I sat there with that and I went, that's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Because in essence, like I was the one that was catfished. <laughs> so why are they mad at me? <laughs> Yeah. And, you know, it's funny because also we think, oh, when we get to a certain level, like when all the money's here and all the life is here and all the good things are here and we wake up every day and we got all this power, all this control, then we're not going to have any struggle. And, you know, I've been looking at it like, well, that's really interesting because stuff still does happen and, and things still do show up that aren't pleasant. And so my goal then would be to stay in my zone, like stay in my zone, stay in my zone. So. Let's go ahead. That's my blabbing for today. I hope it was helpful or interesting or at least entertaining. <laughs> I must be doing something okay because this show has like 95,000 or 90, 92,000 downloads, which translate to roughly 1 million listens because there's about 10 listens for every download. Some people just listen to it on a device without downloading it. So um, technically we're approaching 1 million here or like 992,000 something. When we get to 100,000, it will represent 1 million listens. <gasps> I know. Oh my gosh. This show is so beautiful. So what I'd like to do then is just uh, go forward with a little meditation. And what we're going to do is breathe in. <sighs> breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Pull earth up to the bottoms of your feet. Blue earth energy up to the bottoms of your feet. Nice. More blue earth energy up. Blue earth energy up. Now, gold energy down from celestial. And then if you can, put your hands above your head and reach up and actually put your hands over the top of your head like you're holding a basketball. And now picture gold energy coming from celestial and pouring down on your head. And I just got something to say, like, it's all going to work out and things always do. It all works out and things always do. Everything works out and things always do. There you go. Nice. Now expand your energy out just, just without thinking or trying to learn how. Just expand out as big as the universe. Just expand out even bigger. Even bigger. Beautiful. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. That was interesting. Ooh. Expand out again. Expand out again. Nice. And just pull celestial energy. 
I've been talking to the angels a lot today, so I can feel their energetic presence all around me right now. I'm so joyful to have them at my table, helping me through this weird scenario I got into. Yeah. Bring energy in. Bring energy in. Good. Expand your energy out. There, that's better. And now if you have something that you're working on, like a job or a, a person, a situation, put the situation in all of its glory about a foot in front of you. Take it out of your body. Put it all about a foot in front of you. Just send light energy to it, a ball, whatever that is. It could be a um, relationship, it could be a job, it could be your money situation, it could be um, a career that you're working on. So go ahead and, and we're going to take the first one. And this is one that's a little tangly. If you have a situation that's a little tangly, put that out in front of you and just send so much love to it. And ask Kevin to just take it up and wrap it up in a ball and take care of it and just let go of it. Just ask Kevin to the universe, everything to solve it. And then trust. Send him to trust. Nice. And now if you have something else that would like to be worked on, and for me, I have a business called Alpha Creatress, and she's a very exciting business. <laughs> she's got coaching components and podcast coaching components and coaching components. And oh my gosh, she's all designed about the creatress. She's really into helping you. So if you have an interest in Alpha Creatress, that project is in progress. Um, I'm not sure where the website is in, in its development, but at some point you'll be able to go to alphacreatress.com and get some nice resources and help in creating your own perfect future things, whatever that is, businesses or books or podcasts. Um, so I just started owning my queen of being a creatress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it only took me a bunch of decades guys <laughs> oh baby uh, so now go ahead and put that thing that that kind of excited bouncy ball thing that almost feels like a two-year-old's energy which is good and strange so go ahead and see something like that in your life if you have something like that in your life and see that in front of you. Take it out of your body again and just put it about a foot in front of you and just allow it to grow and just ask it kind of if you want, like, what would you like from me? Very nice. I love it. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. Now come back to center. Let go of all your things. Cut a cord, cut the cord. Cut all those things you're working on. Let them go. Cut the cords. Don't worry about how, just see them cut, see all the cords cut, any negativity cut, just see everything cut, big cut, oh, bigger cut, bigger scissors, there you go, cut everything out of you and let it go away from you, and don't worry, it's still within you, it's just different, <laughs> just morphed to a higher vibration. Yeah, so this was Erica, and um, I'm going to add the outro music to this when I get back from Florida, but for now, I'm just going to put this in the podcast raw so excuse the lack of um, ending music but there, there'll be ending music again on this recording um, just if, you, if you're listening now and you don't have any music it will come back I just um, I didn't bring all my equipment to do all my podcast um, production with me so yeah so, listen so you just have a most amazing day so appreciate you and I look forward to more conversations in energy clearing for life force and creatress, alpha creatress.